Good morning, my name is Ray McQueen, engineer paramedic for the Orange County Fire Authority. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to construct a basic rope rescue system using our CMC multi-purpose device. For the start of this evolution, the student's going to appropriately demonstrate how to don a class 3 harness. After which, he's going to begin to construct his main line. In this situation, our victim is over the side, not in line with our first bomb proof anchor. So with our main line, we're going to construct a change in direction. For starters, we've selected our appropriate bomb proof anchor, and now I'm going to construct my anchor sling. I'm using an approved OCFA anchor sling, a wrap three pull two. As I'm tying my anchor sling, I want to make sure it's relatively in line with my load, it's low to the ground, and my webbing is of the appropriate length. Remember to bury your knot at the base of your anchor. Now that I have my wrap three pull two, I'm ready to reeve the rope through my MPD. Remember when creating a successful operation, you have to appropriately reeve the rope through the MPD. You want your load on the right side, indicated by kilograms. We're going to turn this upside down, take the rope and fashion it through appropriately. Now I'm going to flip my MPD over, and to make sure I've successfully reeved my rope, I'm going to give it a tight pull making sure that it's locked off. Next, I'm going to attach my MPD to my anchor sling using a steel carabiner. Because this is a safety in the main line, we're going to lock our gate. Remember in this system, we have to incorporate a change in direction. Now that my MPD is successfully installed on my main line, I'm going to proceed to my next anchor point. Because my main line has been established on an anchor that's not directly in line with my victim, I need to incorporate a change in direction so that we are in line with our victim. My appropriate equipment is here to establish the change in direction. I have enough tail on my rope. I've located my second bomb proof anchor and I'm going to construct another OCFA approved anchor sling. In this situation, we're going to create a redundant loop. I've created my redundant loop and I'm keeping my knot buried to the base of my anchor. I have another steel carabiner and my pulley for change in direction. I'm going to reeve the rope through the pulley and now attach my pulley and my rope to my anchor sling. Once again, I'm locking off the gate of my carabiner. Now that I've established my change in direction, I'm going to walk the tail end of the rope towards my victim. And I'm going to finish it off with the figure eight on a bite. The next component of our rescue system is our belay line or safety system. Notice we're in line with our victim. I've selected my appropriate bomb proof anchor. Now I'm gonna construct an anchor sling. I'm gonna use a redundant loop.
Notice I'm bearing my knot into the base of my anchor. My next step is to reeve the rope through my MPD. Next, I'm going to attach my MPD to my anchor sling and lock off the gate of the carabiner. After I've reeved my rope appropriately, I'm going to give a slight tug, making sure it locks off. Now that I've constructed my belay system, I'm going to walk the end of my rope over to my victim. And I'm going to finish it off with a figure eight on a bite. So as you can see, we've now constructed the first two elements of our rope rescue system. Notice how our victim is off center from our main line. We've established our main line secured to a bomb proof anchor with our anchor sling. Because our victim is off center, we've installed a change in direction. We have our change in direction anchored to a bomb proof anchor the appropriate anchor sling with the pulley, taking this main line directly in line with our victim. In addition, we've installed our belay line and safety system. This is also secured on a bomb proof anchor with the appropriate anchor sling and is in line to our victim. At the end of our two rope lines, we finished them off with figure eights on a bite. We have our main line and belay line established. Our rescue is clipped into the system. At this point, because we're going to be using the rope, we need to wear appropriate PPE, including our gloves. We want to make sure that we're grabbing the rope with our left hand and turning this handle up and counterclockwise to release the line and let our victim descend. If we need to stop the descent, we're going to release this handle the MPD will automatically lock off. If for some reason we need to create additional friction, we can take the rope with our left hand, turn it back on our friction device, and lock it off some more, as well as pulling our parking brake. Once we pull our parking brake, if we walk away from the system, we want to finish it off with an overhand knot or figure it on a bite as a visual indicator. Now that my parking brake is set and my rope is tied off, I can walk away from my system. Operation for the MPD is the same on the blaze system. If I want to have my rescuer descend or my victim descend, I'm going to hold the rope with my left hand, pull up and counterclockwise with my right, and slowly allow the rope to reeve through the MPD. If I want to slow the descent, I'm going to create friction by pulling this rope back. If I choose to stop the descent, I'm going to release, lock off on my friction device, set the parking brake, and tie my rope off overhand or figure on a bite and this is going to serve as a visual indicator that my system is locked off. We've lowered our rescuer to the victim's location with our main line and belay line. We're now ready for the third component of our rope rescue system, the mechanical advantage. In order to create this Z-Rig, we have our pulley, we have our steel carabiner, and we have our red pressig. Because I'm walking away from my main line, my system's tied off, and I have a figure eight on a bite as a visual indicator. I'm going to attach the pulley to my rope. Attaching the pulley to the rope, I'm going to walk out 
to my location where I'm going to install my mechanical advantage. Notice how the rope is paying out behind me. Placing my pulley down, I'm going to create a three wrap pressic on my main line. Now that I have my three wrap pressic, my rope is reeved through my pulley. I'm going to attach the pulley to the pressic. Once again, locking off my carabiner at the gate. We have our belay system set up. We have the end of our main line with our change in direction. We also have our Z rig which creates three to one mechanical advantage. Going back up to the main line MPD. Now we're ready to haul our victim and our rescuer. I'm going to release my figure eight on a bite, which is my indicator knot. I'm also going to release the parking brake and reeve my rope outside of the friction device. Now my system is ready to haul. My rescuer and my victim are ready, my belay team's ready, and our haul team is ready. Grabbing the rope, we're gonna haul our victim. He's slowly ascending up with the rescuer. We can continue this procedure. Resetting our press it. And continuing to haul our victim. Our victim and rescuer are now at a safe location. This operation is complete.